Happy Friday, Rockstars and Lambs. It's Josh Cooley coming to you from Studio J. Rai. As you know, every Friday I want to start doing this new thing that's only a positive place called J. Rai Affirmation. Just to reaffirm that you mean the world to me, and I mean the world to me, and that you mean the world to you. Um, I wanted the whole J. Rai Affirmation thing to be a place that there's no venting, there's no hate, and it's a safe zone, if you will, for everybody on every every video on my YouTube channel because there's a lot of them about venting and things that go on in my life. But the thing that I want to talk about today is it's funny because I want this to be a positive podcast video thing that we're doing is about saying no. This is a big lesson that I've learned lately and I've been saying it a lot lately and people have noticed it and they're like, something's changing with you. Well, I'm saying no a lot more. No, I was taught a very long time ago from a rabbi friend of mine, when you say no, you um, start the act of creation, meaning that you create space for something to fill that other space in. So if somebody invites you to dinner, you don't really care for the person too much, and you're like, no, don't lie to them and say, no, I don't have plans. No, I don't care to. You just created a void. For some of you that probably heard that right now, it's probably really hurtful That's that heard that. No, I just don't want to go out. I can't go out right now. That's always a good one. I can't go out right now. Um, sometimes it's a money thing, sometimes it's you just don't want them to interrupt your space and your energy. And you shouldn't allow them to. So, learn how to say no it creates a gap. I learn all the time when I'm with clients. And I'm running in a client-based business like the salon industry. And when you get to a certain level where you're more than 80% booked your entire day, an entire week, an entire season, you have to learn how to say no to certain things. So, where somebody like me likes to be emphasized in a dimensional color where I'm spending two and a half to two hours with somebody... I have to learn to say no to little things like little kids haircuts, men's haircuts, just regular haircuts in a treatment because obviously I've made my name in something else and I have a passion for something more than I do. Um, so it's sad because in my business life I've learned that working 9 to 6 means working 9 to 6. So I'm not going to stay late at 7 or 8 o'clock for you. No, I'm sorry. I created the void for me. I created the void for if I want to watch TV. If I feel like watching Golden Girls all night, I should have the right to do that. And you have the right to do the same thing in your life. If I don't want to spend money and go out with a certain group of friends because I know that I always pick up the bill, then that was a good void that you created in your life. The good that came out of that was that you didn't spend that money. Even if you went out by yourself, you didn't spend the money that you would taking a group out. You didn't go out and get all trash drunk and not perform well at work the next day, you know actually created a positive thing for you. It was a growth outlet for you. And the same thing happens when you're at work and somebody keeps piling on work. You have to learn when to say no. I understand stuff being in your job position, your title, and if you own a business, but even as a business owner, coming from a business owner to a business owner, or somebody who is in a self-made industry, you have to learn to say no. And my no has come lately. I'm trying to sit up here. Um, my no comes from a place of love. It comes from understanding that if I don't take care of myself, how on earth can I take care of you? I just got done about a month ago um, listening to Tabitha Coffee. She has the show Tabitha's Takeover, and it's starting its fourth season on Monday night on Bravo. That was my plug for Tabitha. Um, and it was funny because she was talking about you have to know who you are. You have to know when to say no, and you have to know when to grow. And people aren't always going to be happy with you, but you have to understand that that's, that's part of you. you. If you don't take care of yourself, it's, it's not good on anyone. In an industry like a nurse, like one of my friends is a nurse, and going to school to finish up all his nursing stuff, you're in an industry where you're taking care of people. In the hair industry, we're in an industry where we're taking care of people, answering their phone calls, talking to them on, online all the time, and trying to be in a people-based industry, or even a performer. If you're a performer, you understand this too. You're in an industry where you're pleasing everyone else or you're taking care of others. And when you take care of others, it's commendable. It's a great thing. But you often sacrifice your life, your time with your friends, your spouse, if you even have that, or just your health and eating. Sometimes we don't eat very well. Sometimes I don't eat very well. Sometimes um, I smoke too much, I drink too much, I cuss too much. And it's because I'm so used to being in the public's eye that I don't know how to take care of myself and I don't know how to take care of my friendships and keep them everlasting. So learn to say no because that's a point when you're not taking care of things and they're unbalanced that things are out of whack. Say no to something this week. Whether it's going to cocktails, if you go out three nights a week, go out too. If you want to go out to McDonald's because it's easier, say no. Go make something at home. It's better for you anyway. Even if it's, no, I don't feel like doing a chore. I don't feel like mowing lawns this week. I don't feel like doing the dishes this week. You created a void 
for something positive. Research that. Go into see what you're missing in your life and fill it with something. If I don't want if I go out to cocktails every night or have dinner plans every night, I can't write hot mess. I can't do videos. I can't work on my new salon. And it's my fault that I didn't put the time into it. So learn how to say no. Understand this. This is the J. Ray Affirmation of the Week. No equals avoid equals creation. Talk to you next week. Stay here for brand new Joshua Ryan videos. I'm excited. I'm all about it. But next week, a brand new J. Wright Affirmation on Friday. Have a blessed weekend. I adore you to pieces. And check out www.josh-cooley.com. Talk to you soon.